Greetings, ladies and gentle people. It is August 23rd, 2019, making it a Friday, and that means another wonderful day for basics. I'm over here on the Pandanet. Hope to play on OGS, but I sadly was not able to get a game both days that I tried to play on there. So, it's fine. Uh, I've already recorded both games that I am using. We played two games here on Pandanet. Won't tell you how they how they went but game one in particular i think you're gonna really 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 love how someone leaves their influence just hanging out there all open and how you deal with it game two is gonna be really fun it's someone who's trying to use the influence to attack you but are they do they truly have influence is it truly a severe attack do we truly have to worry about it Ooh, so many good questions. So many good questions. I like today's video. I like today's video, and I hope you do too. So here we go. First game is two Don Plus. Next game is, I think, a one Don Plus. Hope you enjoy the games. Hope you enjoy the series. And I'll let you get to it. See you next time. All right. Uh, we have a two Don Plus now. Hello, Satuma2600. So we are here, obviously, still on Ye old Pandanit. And I'm thinking a 3-4 stone's in order. I dig the 3-4 stones. He has a 3-4 stone of his own. Okie dokie. I will approach. And then see where we go from there. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Pincer back off. I'll see your two choices. Or 3-3 three, three upper right. Oh man. Okay, so he is going to go ahead and approach. That's fine. We just go ahead and attach. Let's kind of give him what he wants. I think that's kind of um, a bit old and outdated nowadays. I think we're supposed to like back off here. I haven't really taken to the new like AI way of doing things, as I'm sure I don't have to tell any of you. Just re-approach since I'm pincered. And now he tries to build this area up. You've seen this in my games before, essentially. Uh, this area can't be claimed in its entirety in one move, even with with, with Sentai taking one move. Uh, so it looks scary, 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 but it's not. This cutting point is live. We can take it whenever we feel like. This area needs another move. He's a play like over in here. He's not. So we can just play here. I think the idea for him right now is he wants to play like a move like this one. We have some time. Let's go ahead and show. Uh, show it in blue. Things easier. So we envision like the move he wants to play is probably somewhere in here, right? Now, even then, you can imagine this move connect, this move extend, and an attachment here. Even that, right? Starts you start thinking, you know, I think I think even that you could still live with. So you can imagine how much of an overplay it is to still be pushing here when he can't live. Um, that said, I mean, it's fourth line territory. I'm not really concerned. He owes me a move. He has to shoulder hit this. Make sure it can't go anywhere. Otherwise, he's just hoping. He's just hoping. Okay, so he didn't play there at all, which makes it a blatant overplay. Words can go ahead and back off and then just start dismantling this. Because, yeah, this is this stone is not dead. If you think this is yours, uh-uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh And this is the main difference that I talk about in my stream all the time between the difference between uh, Pandanet, for example, and Foxy and uh, Taijam is here, he's building and not protecting his shape, not following up, not getting his points, not doing any of that, right? On... Um, Foxy and Taijem, rather than do the whole build thing that we got going on here, they'll just try to kill you and not protect shape and not like take points and do all that. So one, they overplay by growing. The other people tend to overplay by just like trying to hit you. And whichever uh, style you're best towards will have better performance on that server. Uh, it's predominantly how that goes. See, he's just um probably trying to go over here and build. We're done responding to him. We're just gonna start reducing. If we keep responding to him, then he, then like one or two moves go his way, and suddenly it all comes together. 
It's kind of like uh, if the opponent starts fighting you and if you're not careful and you start ignoring one or two moves, don't go your way, and then it all starts collapsing on you. So his threat right now is to get second line territory. I mean, I, I think that's fine. You can do that. You can see that he does not want to do that. Go underneath. I, I mean, getting all of this down to two lines of two points per line, that's, that's all you need. You see how easy that was? Now, I don't want this to connect up, so I will threaten to take. Atari, make sure he can't uh, do a thing. And then we'll play here, because he has to go down this one. This one's complete, 100% pure Gote. So there you go. There you go. Take a move on the outside, and that right there is one extremely successful reduction. I mean, we've still got... Check what we have. Just because he didn't protect. Just because he didn't protect. And you see the exact same thing against uh, Don's on uh, Fox. They don't protect. You put a little bit of pressure on them, and then because they were trying to attack, they create another group, and then they things start dying. Here, a bit different. He didn't protect his points, so these points are all gone. We've got a follow-up later on in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. So those aren't points. The only points he really has is maybe one, and then two, three, by capturing this. Um... Maybe some of this area here. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 or 11. Doesn't seem very good, huh? But he's trying to attack me now. Notice that one? So here, the only thing that could go wrong is somehow you give him a huge wall across the board and he backs off and does something. But we're not in any way in trouble here. In fact, let's look at this. How does he enclose us? Well, he needs another move here, but then that still leaves going that way. So he needs another move here, but that still leaves going this way. So he needs, like, another move somewhere in here, too. So he needs, like, three moves to completely enclose us. And while he's doing that, don't we just, like, live with one extra move? So this cap, again, he's kind of like overplaying and trying to build right now. So I'm just going to say I don't care in turn. Because this is a connection. The Atari is pretty strong. I'm poking at his shape, but I'm making shape for myself. And that's all we really need here. We prevented the doomsday scenario, right? Of him going, boom, wall that just goes like up here and then like he gets a big move and then like all of this is like his influence. That'd be pretty successful. But no, I mean, just, just no. I might just take the stone. Nah, let's go ahead and play here. I'll thought take the stone, it's fine. But yeah, there's no, there's, like, where are you going to play now? You have to save the stone. And then, like I mentioned, you just play lightly. We have too much shape. He can't keep doing this. So where's the, where's the, where's the prof? How, okay, seriously, guys, how do you keep following me when I'm recording and I'm not live? I don't understand. You guys are weird. Like, it just seems crazy. People time that so well. Yeah, I'll play here. I don't know how I had it two and three stones. We're about to play elsewhere. One last one. Alright, we're done with that. Because you see how he was, like, eagerly, not even reading. He's eagerly playing these moves. That's all he wants. He just wants influence. But he's playing them even though I'm already alive, but he still wants the influence. Now, we've got territory over here. I'm playing this one, so this is all pure profit. 
Sure, whatever, dude. You don't have an evasion point anymore either. So this is pure profit. Now again, see what he's trying to do. So we just pincer that. At this point, where's his where's his points? His points are right in here. And right in here. And Comey. Beyond that, we don't know where his territory is yet. Whereas I currently have this, it looks like. And it looks like this is pretty solid. And then something in here is pretty solid. So if I were to plug this position into Leela, she'd probably say I'm like in the 80 to 90% range to win. Now here, we're going to just forcefully let him live. We'll take a little bit of hit in the middle, but we're getting rid of his center stuff. So it's more than worth it. It's more than worth it. Or he can go into my corner. And that variation is now gone. So we're just going to not let him connect because that'd be insane. So our corner is gone, but we get this instead. So yeah, we lose like 2, 4, 6, 8, but we get like 2, 4, 6, 8. So it's like, yeah, it's not really uh, all that problematic. And now we can let him run here until his heart's content. Like, if I play here, he plays here, right? I play here, he plays here, and then I play here. But then suddenly I've got a weak point. So, just, no. Just keep just keep extending, buddy. As long as this stone can't go anywhere, because we haven't given him a cutting point, and it can't. Yeah, sure. One, one point territory. Cool. Like, I'm just not giving it to him. He needs that cutting point to activate this stone. Cool. His win condition's now here. We already have it here. So there's no win condition here. There's no viable win condition for our opponent. Right? We'll just keep this uh, from really growing. Just keep growing and that's, uh, that's going to be the end of that. Um... Did I misjudge that? If I did, I'm backing off rather than losing everything. Hmm. I'm going to turn here. Watch him Hane. I'm going to have to contemplate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see what the Aji is before we do anything else and make this matter worse. Uh, this move should have been down one more to prevent this from happening. I gave him a small chance, this game now looks like. That happens, that's exactly what he needed. We're gonna just go and do some endgame stuff. Let's see where the cutting points are. How is he protecting? What's going on here? They're gonna do a connect, this, that, ooh, that one, okay. Okay, so I have a clamp here. He drops down, I have a thing here. He connects. Hum, hummity, hummity, hummity. Well, then I got, I got to move here, right? Otherwise, I can go here, and then the clamp just works, or I can kill the stones. You see how we de uh, determined that? How we looked for it first? Okay, so now we got two moves in there. So it's looking kind of better, huh? I still don't think we can do this one, though. Don't think we can do it. So, since we don't think we can actually get away with this, I think I'm just going to go and play here. Yeah, I'm just going to play here. I'm just going to play here. We did what we could. I assure you I'm not aiming at this. Those of you who attend my streams regularly are like, he's going to try to kill that middle... No, 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 no. I guess it's too it. No, we're not going to try it. Um, Sorry about the schedule there. It's from, it's from Wednesday. You know how I said we're not going to kill him? Yeah, about that, huh? But you can see how this entire game is set up for this kind of thing. The only way he could have um, tried to come out ahead was by this kind of thing. 
So it's a little unfortunate that uh, we're kind of giving him what we what he needed to try to get back in the game. This move is a little bit sloppy as a result. We played it too fast. I probably only I probably didn't take too long to even consider all the odds you involved. It's a very big uh, mistake I have in my normal play too, unfortunately. Like I've this week I've lost a lot of games that were at ninety percent win uh, rate for me. Essentially, games that were impossible to lose, games that were effectively over, just leave too much Aji behind, and then things happen. So play too fast. I, I play too fast. It's true, man. It's my biggest weakness right now. I play too fast. I uh, make more mistakes the uh, more I'm up. I think that's probably because I find it fun to get into a winning position. And then once I'm there, it's like, hmm. Well, now what? Hard part's over. As long as I'm not stupid, this game's done. <laughs> so he's thinking about this one. Doesn't work. He plays there. I go under. He cuts. I hone. He cuts. We go there. So he has to protect. Then I get to connect. And then this is connected. So this cut is a lie. He wants to do it, though. He's spending all of his time trying to figure out how he can cut this zone off because that's the only way he can win the game. So he's looking hard for it. Looking hard, looking hard, looking hard. Can he do something else? Can he do something else? Maybe, maybe throw it in here. Maybe something, anything. Get something to work. Odd. I'm, I, I don't know why he spent all that time on that one move. That seems bizarre to me. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, he, cause he got the... I, I honestly... Why? He's got this one. Or just the connect. I can't play there. He Atari's me. What was the point of playing that? I, he spent like two or three minutes on it. I mean, sure, he protected himself. I'll protect myself, I guess. I'll give him Sente back. There you go. Yeah, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Because, I mean, this connects me up instantly, you know? Well, take some points, I guess, huh? Maybe he doesn't know this Hane just connects me. I, I don't I don't really know what's going on. Poke. Maybe he doesn't know the Hane connects me? I'll show him. I'll show him the Hane connects me. See, because if he cuts me, I Atari here, and the two stones are dead. But I mean, Tudon can obviously read that, right? Especially since he spent like two minutes reading the situation. Like, he spent a lot of time contemplating this, right? <laughs> I can play here. Because if he goes here, there's me at cutting points. If he plays here, we play here, 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 and then there's cut, cut. This cut just Atari straight down. So this cut doesn't go anywhere. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Back to the stun, I guess. I'll just turn here then. I'll just kind of like reduce it. All right, so <clears throat> now that we have this, I can Atari this way safely. I don't see what the point of that one was. He wants to Atari me here? Why? Ooh. He clearly does, though. I 
I mean, okay. I mean, it's a forcing move technically, but that's kind of forcing move that you probably want to leave for um, co-threats. Because you know that your opponent, there's nothing there, right? You, you play there, your opponent blocks somehow. So that you're only getting rid of like a point at most. So what you really want to do there is just kind of leave that stuff. Okay, Tari here, I guess. You can't let me go and kill the stones. <laughs> Okay, so I'm leaning towards this one now. I'm going to play here just because there's a few things that are making me a little nervous in terms of maybe there's like, I don't know. All right, so um, yeah, let's just start, uh, you know. Endgame, I guess. Endgame, a game, a game. -y. He plays here, we play here, here, here. And then here to threaten the monkeys. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Also, taking the two stones here is pretty nice. Maybe playing something in here. Sure, I'll kick that. I guess we turn here, huh? No, go into his corner. If he takes one point of terror, yeah. Yeah, he didn't like that idea. So what do we do? We kill it? No, then he hanes. Yeah, I'll play here. I'll play here, it's fine. This will be Sente, so he plays there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, maybe eight, maybe three times eight here. Wait, three times eight plus one, maybe plus two. So about 26 points here, perhaps. Okay, he gets two stones. That's cool. Let's uh, end this. Take an extra point here. Don't let him push up and like suddenly get a point or whatever. He'll probably play connection and then I'm going to poke at it. Or do I play this? No, yeah, I poke at it. Okay. And then... I could play here. Nah, he's got uh, connections there, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we're going to push. Now he has to connect. Or I think connect solidly is better than the other one. All right, so if he plays here, uh, contemplate. He plays here. We're doing endgame? Are we really doing endgame? We're really doing endgame. If I play here, I get points. Let's just give him Sente. This is big, though, dude. It's also forcing. Let's go ahead and play it. I play here. He has to play here. Otherwise, he's dead. So then when I play here, I get a monkey over here. So he can never do this one into this exchange. Yep, 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 yep. And then monkey it. So there goes a lot of territory there. So his territory now is like all in the upper left. And a little bit over in here. This is just two, three, four, five points. We make that easily in here. Um, huh. Does he know that's a co? Does he that does he know that's a co? He doesn't know it's a co, does he? If I play here, then I can do this one. And if he connects, we play here and he's dead. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's it's a common mistake, okay? Don't 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 be mean. Don't be mean. I'll play here. I'll play here. Wait, he's screwed no matter what. Cause if he plays here, I'm gonna play here anyway. Right? 
So how does he... But still... How do you how do you get a type how do you get a monkey jump wrong at two dawn? That's weird. That's weird. Maybe accidentally committed suicide? Maybe, huh? Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. But yeah, this game we didn't try to do any aggressive attacking. We just looked at what he was not doing and we did something about it you know you're in trouble right this is co for life oh well it happens now, if he resigns here, I will go back and show that we were ahead anyway. Um, for those of you who are into the whole estimating thing, we had established this was like 26 points. What was it? 8, 16, 24, 26? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, about 26 points, right? Now, you might say he can play here, right? He's reading wrong. Okay, yeah, if he played here... We would take again, because if he did that, then it would be Atari. Tell you what, I'm just gonna... Just gonna I'm not gonna go for a cut. Like, I mean, there's like... There's things that we could do here, here, here... Um, here because of, like, here, like, th there's, there's stuff we could do here. But I, I don't really want to have him suddenly resign. Anyway, like I said, counting. So, does he have the 26 points here? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, uh, 12... 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 6. Yeah, so this and this are about equal. So he needs to equal out this corner and this top with uh, the territory in here and here, which, I mean, at a glance, at a glance, you know, that's not really going to be a thing, right? Um, I could go here into here, however. This doesn't work, right? No, I can never put that one. But yeah, we could do this one into this one. So I guess we can do that to, to remove some um, stuff, right? Sure, why not? That was the price of Hibs living. We took uh, some stones over here. Look, he's not going to die, but this whole area is now worth like three points. So I have more air. I have more territory here than he has here, which means it's all up to this upper right hand group to make my bottom right and my top territory. If they, if yeah, if this and this are roughly me, I then it's up to this upper right hand side to make all of this. If this isn't even equaling this, if like this and set in Comey is like equal. No, there's no Comey. He's two down plus. Wait, he's two down plus. Do I have Comey? I have Comey. Okay, that means he is really screwed. Yeah, that's the end of that game. Ooh, at the end, that's the end of that game. Oh dear. Hodor. That is way over. We are miles ahead. Yeah. And then maybe this one? Because if you don't do it, then he cuts you, and then like, ah, oh, I can Atari, and then he Atari's you back, and like, X. Let's play here. Mm -hmm. How much is my bottom right-hand corner, though? Um, Let's see, 4, 8, 10, 12, 14, maybe 16 points. 
two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's not equal to that. Ooh, good move. Good move. Now, I've been struggling for a while now, because, like, I know that this is here. Do I... Like, I think this is the right one, because if he pushes, I can block, because he can Atari here, but that's free. So he can't do that self-Atari. He could do this into that one. I'm just going to play here and say it's easier. And like I said, we're miles ahead, so... Hmm. I think I just missed out on maybe two points. He should be playing here, though. This is huge. This is huge. Dun, 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 dun. Making sure he can't, like, Atari here. Um... Tell you what, it's all yours, friend. Wait, no, it's not, because he can Atari there. And, oh, I'm an imbecile. I should have played this differently because of this one right here. That's what you get when you don't kill people, man. All right, so that was Gote. That was sad. We reduced him to three points and we gave him one, two, three, four. And now we only have the three points. That's what happens when you don't kill people, man. You give him a chance. Give him a chance. Now you can take this one too. So I got this and this, which is a huge mistake by me. You know? I mean, we still win, but it's still a huge mistake. You should be playing here. Nothing else as large as this. Two, three, four, five points in endgame. Like, he should be... Instead of this. Because this could have... I could have handled this differently. <laughs> um... Sure. Whatever. You gonna play here yet? Come on, dude. So if I play here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. So three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. Now that's me, I. Yeah. Now I'm only up by the corner. That's one point, sure. But it's one point Gote. Like if I played here, he should be cheering if I had played that move, you know? Could I take one point in Gote? He gets to keep taking larger points elsewhere? He says that is a thing, huh? Like we said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's, it's, now it's 3 times 8 plus 1, so 3 times 8 plus 2. So that's just, that's just one more point. Oh my god, finally! They're right to take up 2 points, I mean it's pretty big. Guess I'll play here, huh? I don't think anything's larger. Do 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 do. There's no more uh, moves up in here. He cuts here, even if these are gone. We Atari over. He connects, and we connect, which is an Atari again. So this is never a thing. We never have to worry about it. Sure. Um, I can 
can play here. Threatens to uh, thingy. There's two points there. Uh, do we care? Not really, huh? Sure, I'll pick up two points here. So yeah, we did mess up here. We did mess up here. Oh, is that a... Yeah. I have to play here too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ugh. Now this and Comey equals this. Either way, we're still up by this and this. Da -na 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 -na. Um. Guess I can play here. Cause here, maybe cut that off. I don't know. Go ahead and play here. Then here, 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 here. I should play this one instead. That way, yeah, bad order. Yeah, probably bad order. Probably the bad order, mate. I'll go and play here, because I don't want to do this one, this one, and like have him play there and there. It's kind of bad. So this gives, saves me a point. That gives him a point. So I just think it's neutral. I do have to play here, though. Um, that's not anything. I'm just making sure there's no weird, stupid stuff in here. Um, yeah, sure. I'll uh, when we play it. All right, that was the last move. Ugh, stretch. So then we'll go ahead and review the game. And I'm even going to use the Oracle briefly. Just to verify what we thought about the uh, earlier part. That is literally nothing. Trying to squeeze an extra point on me. What was the point of doing it that way? Now you have to play here. Yeah, that was bad order of moves, dude. That was inefficient. So if he plays here, he wants me to play here again, but I have three liberties here, so he can't Atari me. Therefore, that's useless too, because there's nothing there. Um, yeah, if he plays here, we play here. Yeah, okay. He sees, he sees. So here, 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 and here. And that, yep, gotcha. Da -na -da -da -na -na. All right, so I went back a couple of points. This, however, was really unfortunate. This was really unfortunate. Let's go and review. All right, so here you can already see we did make some mistakes at the end of the game. My end game is, oh, no, sorry. Let's just go ahead and do this one. Sorry, there we go. Easier to see, easier to see. Sorry about that. Make it larger so it's even easier still. All right, so you can see here at how many playouts is this? Seven, 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. I don't know, 11, 12,000, and we're just going up a thousand a tick here, almost. That we have a 78% chance to win because white has no territory. 
So this is horrifyingly bad, and you can kind of go back and see where it got really bad too. Like right now, it's saying that white should play here. And I completely agree. I don't care about what he plays, just anything, just some kind of defensive move here. Instead, white played away. And then that's a problem. Suddenly it swings in a little bit towards black, and that's actually significant because beginning of the game it thinks that white's ahead, so we're kind of slow losing ground here. And it wanted to do the normal Jiseki here into God knows what else. But instead, you can see here, we're just kind of being given like all of this wonderful stuff. Right? Into easy shape. Into um, being absolutely fine. And at that point, where's where's uh, White White's continuation from here? Now it wanted to play here because it puts more pressure on this. Um, not not my jam. I I pretty much just cheat. Yeah, just just jump out. Just jump out. You're fine. You're good. Just jump. And then you can see from here, definitely needs to not let this approach take place because you can see. Where we are, we're in the high 80s at this point in order to win the game, right? Hi, do we ever hit 90 out of curiosity? Just out of curiosity, do we ever hit 90? Probably not. Looks like we're fluctuating somewhere in the high 80s. And the reason for that is we got all the territory, we have a solid area, and the reason for that again is White said, I want to build. Like, oh, do you really want to build? And White's like, yeah, I totally want to build right now. So I was like, okay, fine, you can build. Great, fine, whatever, have fun. You're building. But as I mentioned in the game, if you're going to build it, you need to keep it. You know? If you're going to build it, you do need to keep it. And he decided, I'm not going to keep it. Which means... Okay, that is a humongous overplay that puts it, you in a very, very tough position in order to try to keep winning this game in a few short moves. It goes from, yeah, I think White's ahead, to, yeah, you should consider resigning now, right? All right, so we've got a game. Here against a one don plus, we are black, and I'll go ahead and whoops, I didn't pay attention to that. Oh well, it's fine. I was say we're gonna go ahead and approach the four four or have our three four facing our four four point, but we kind of messed up that one. Now he's going ahead and pincering us here. I've mentioned this many many times before, so we'll just go ahead and do what I've said. This is dangerous to pincer because I can jump out. And after the jump out, I can attach and then counter attack, which allows me to grow and attack, build, all those wonderful things. You'll notice that this is not OGS. The reason why it's not OGS is because after 20 minutes of waiting, we were not able to get a game, so we went elsewhere. So something a bit like that ought to do her. That is a slow move. He has to play here again in order to do anything, otherwise we can extend down. Another slow move, so let's just go and take ourselves another little one point jump, make sure we're nice and fine. Just note that if he Hane's here, back off one point jump. Don't Hane, otherwise there's like pokes and cuts and it's just not gonna be good. So beginning of the game, he's taken very slow moves for himself. That is quite a-okay. I'll put some pressure here. See how tough it is to get, in, or how easy it is to get into a really bad position uh, as white when you have your 3 4 facing your opponent and you decide to do something weird. This is just for shape purposes. Uh, don't try and do anything weird here, and he's going to have trouble. He's going to claim this is influence. Yeah, you see how he's playing, how he's like playing with weird small knights or whatever. He can't actually attack these stones, but he has to try. So, 
It's fine. This thing, this kind of play only works really in handicap. Because he's against my corner. And now he's running both groups simultaneously. So one thing we're also going to do is get more shape for ourselves while poking at his large knight since he's decided to create one. That has meaning. And we're just going to go threaten to Hane ahead of two and three stones. And if he doesn't jump, we'll do that. He can't cut us, so this seems completely fine. He has ignored us, so that comes with a consequence of his stones not being alive anymore. No reason to attack this because he hasn't made territory. We've got uh, a little bit of territory in the corner, a little bit in the corner. The two stones are dead. We have a group to attack. We've got an area over here we can invade. Looks like we will be invading it because he is... Oh, never mind. He has a... Uh... Looks like he will not allow us to uh, invade that. That's fine. That just means we get the opportunity to completely enclose this group since he didn't defend it. And I killed his two stones. A lot of people playing very, very fast today. Very strange, very strange. Um, all right, I'll draw that back. He can tell me how much I can get by attacking him. Okay. Hana here is very severe. Hana here is also very severe. He can now tell me... Well, uh, boom. He can tell me how he's going to live here. I'm going to poke at his one point jump. And all right. How do you live? You're completely enclosed. How, how are we living here? How are we living here? Looks like game one is incredibly quick. Okay, it's going to counter poke. This is not a poke we have to respond to because we've got shape. If he pokes, we will push. Make sure there's no eye there. Okay. So far, he's still looking for eyes. Still looking for eyes. Still looking for eyes. Still looking for eyes. Threatening to go through here is pretty strong. He can't actually cut. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and cut through that then. No problems. He can't take her, he's dead. So this looks like it's going to be game one. Therefore, in this video, I anticipate game two and three. Same basic fundamental problem exists on this board. He only has two liberties. We're now connected out, which means he's dead. Remember, this group did not matter in the slightest. What mattered was this one. So let's go ahead and throw a little lifeline. The cut here connects either or, so we're fine. So we will go ahead and cut, which allows us to connect. And the middle is now ours. Seems good, seems good. I can play here. Um, so I could play here. I don't really need to, though. I think, yeah, I'm going to play this one instead. Now, the Hana here, by the way, we, we don't do this. We do this one. That way, when he connects, we fix. That's fine. And now, something a bit like... Ah, a bit like what? Like, I'm tempted to just go, yeah, let's go ahead and fix it. Right? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and fix it. There we go. He can't do anything to us anymore. We got rid of all the Aji. So the game's over. Now, I think we play that a little bit fast. I will go and do slow motion review of that, obviously. Because that was a little bit ridiculous. But uh, he blitzed, and I just kind of blitzed back, which is not not good, clearly. But he has a one Don plus, so, you know. How he tried to use his influence is really, really um, normal in kind of low down influential games. You just kind of like jump, 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 and then pincer something. Here we did that because we were pincering and building at the same time, right? Now, here's something that's not basic at all. I'm going to actually attach to him here rather than approach. That way there's no pincers and weirdo doodads. Here, we just go ahead and live. Since he ignored us, he, didn't, he, he clearly did not like the idea that we were going to make life up there, or that we were going to connect something. This can't be killed. Well, it could technically be killed, but it won't be killed. All right. Um, let's see what odds we have. Can I Hane here? Can I cut? No? Okay. <sighs> Well, let's play here then. Threat make an eye. Threat make an eye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then, just like that, two eyes are made. Like I said, you can't try and kill us. Doesn't work. He extends up. We drop down on him. He fixes his shape. I like that a lot. Because if I play here and he plays here, we cut him. Now there's no more uh, cutty cutties. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go into endgame, I guess, then. No reason to invade this. Notice how we never even talked about if we could invade it. Right? We looked for Aji, looked for Aji, looked for Aji, see how strong we could get, and then if we had to, we would go back and invade. Um, but it doesn't seem like we just uh, were in any way, shape, or form requiring an invasion. So, so yeah. I should probably play here, huh? Here first, and then this one, maybe? Connect, he takes. A little bit of a push push. So the reason why I'm not worried about this, if he plays here, I play here. He could connect, but we Atari, it doesn't work. So here, here, here. Then if I have this one, I just play here, he Ataris me. Actually, yeah, that's a problem. I think I can capture this, I guess. That's fine. We've got left, enough liberties to go back and do like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But I don't really want to go back and do that. Because that is a lot of points. To have to fill in your own territory. But I think right now with this I can go doot into doot. And I think we live that way. So it's fine. So let's just keep poking out this side territory. This side territory is pretty small. All things considered. Side territory usually is. Because you can see I can poke at it from the top. I can poke at it from below. And because he tiger mouthed there, I can do this one too. Because I can Atari, and then if he extends, I can drop down to take the Cutting Stone. Um, this is worth a bunch of points, right? Sure it is. There. Took it. Just take it off the board. 
now to capture ever those stones. So th essentially this capture is, I guess, the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, six points. Something like that. Right, got it. So it's pretty straightforward. We did kill a middle, unfortunately. But a lot of times in these games, I wind up poking something and then they just don't respond. And then not responding to that forcing move, you know, it has a price tag to it. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, if you're making shape and they aren't making shape, there needs to be a price for that. Like, we are taught to make good shape for a reason, you know? So it's not passive or aggressive to kill this. This is just, oh, you don't think you need shape here. I'm going to probe it and find out if that's true. He died. That wasn't true. He needed shape there. That's all. Instead, he wanted to do, like, what? He was, like, building up this instead of defending this? Maybe it's worth. Maybe it's equal. Let's count. Uh, two, four, uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, um, fourteen. So it's a good twenty points here, I guess. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, that's twenty points in captures alone. We can play here. He can Atari me into the Clampy Clampy. That's fine with me because I can just take the stone then and be fine. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. That way he can't do the clampy clamp. That he played this rather than respond here is very telling though. It means he's knows he knows he's behind. He's looking for ways to get out of that. So he was hoping that I wouldn't respond and he can clamp get an easy kill. But it shouldn't die. That's not something that shouldn't work. So he's kind of like uh he's going fishing, essentially. So he's looking for Aji. Trying to figure out, is there Aji here? Is there Aji there? Where can I kind of come back, you know? But we're defending here, like we did in this area. Mitsuo 71. Name sounds familiar. Mitsuo. I do not know why that sounds familiar, but I'm pretty sure it does. Why? I do not know, but it does. Is it an anime character from something? Probably not. Dun, dun, dun. Why would I have to respond to that? Why not your area? If I like play here, I get what? Just like no points. Yeah, I mean, he didn't respond to me, so we're just gonna go and play up here. Clamp. Um, could play here. Not gonna do co or anything. He can honey back at whatever. I'll connect to Atari. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could theoretically play here if I thought I was behind. So that's that's a dangerous thing to do. If I was behind, I could be like oh, more reduction, and then that could potentially put me over the top. But we're pretty certain that we're not behind. We're pretty certain we're not behind. We got like a big fat old corner and a huge old middle. Oof. So big, so big.
I'm gonna play here. So we've got a 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 point corner. Almost 15, but not quite. And uh, then we've got a 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 point corner. Not bad. Not bad at all, mate. Not bad at all. <laughs> that reminds me of a stream earlier this week. <laughs> I was doing accents as I'm like to do. The guy did not like that at all. He is he does not appreciate accents. What a jerk. Let's go and play here, threaten to cut him off and kill him. But it's okay, we banned him. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Just poking. Just poking. I think, oddly enough, the area over here is the largest area of his territory. Which is odd, because I said that, you know, there's no... There's less points on the side, usually. Yeah, there's less points on the side, usually, unless that's all of your points. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 22 points. Comey, 28, 28. Can I play here? Might as well. He can save it, but it's reverse Sentai. That way he doesn't get to play here. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Goats. Whenever they do something like that, I always get nervous. I've seen players miss the fact that that was uh, actually Sente so many times. This is Sente because I push, I can cut, and then take a stone. Because it's 1 point, 1 point, 1 point. So you push Nuhane, threaten to take this stone or that stone. Oh my god, that probably came up on on a microphone. Long story short, people above have a doge. And they ripped up all the carpet for hardwood flooring. So when that sucker runs around, freaking hear it all the time. <sighs> Next year, we will move. Next year, we will move. Don't know where to, though. Can move anywhere. It's a problem. Well, not anywhere. Couldn't move somewhere like Seattle or something, because that place is way too expensive. Like, I'm... I, essentially, I'm like the equivalent of minimum wage, you know? So, I, I do have to be careful. Where to now? Um, Push in? Sure. Here and to here, looks like. Seems Gucci. I think you should drop down. Mm -hmm. Did I make a boo boo? I boo-booed. Uh, frustrating. But, that's why I continue the game, because he was looking for something like that to occur. So, cool. Cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. Way to go. You got a mistake on me. Ordinarily, if you lose something like this in the middle of the game, like that, don't keep playing. This area is huge. Even with this, 
Like if you're heading into endgame and your opponent gives you 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, maybe 13 points for free and you're still behind, you know you probably should have resigned. If you're if you're done, if you're done, if you're a Q, it's hard to know like what the score is. If you're a Don, you should know. You should know. Come on, man. You should know. So he's probably looking for another mistake, I guess. Um, get rid of this into a tar- I don't know. I don't think we're going to make another one. Didn't think we'd make the first one, though, to be honest. Uh, so that's uh, long and short of that one, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Da, na, 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 na. Ah, no, player. Mm -hmm. Nowhere to go in this one. I can't do anything in there. I just don't see any other moves available to me, really. Da, na, 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 na. Mm hmm. So it's kind of on autopilot. Kind of on autopilot. This middle is so huge. Look at this. Like it's, it's lines of territory all the way up the board. Along with like huge corners. He can push, but that's about it. Let's go to the push. Let's one point goats. So at that point we just... Okay, yep, one point goats. Maybe there's only one. Maybe that's all there is left. Maybe there's one point goats. Um, I think this is two points, though, so I think that's actually not correct. Whoa, actually, what is this that I see? Um, so if he play, uh, we're darn by it. If he plays here, cuts, da 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 da. I might defend this one. He plays there, I do that one. Eh, two points. Gote, though. Still two point Gote. He can never push through and kill this, so we're, we're okay. We're not making a mistake like that. So how much is this middle worth? One, two, three, five, seven, nine, uh, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 2, 4, did I count this point? Let's say no, 24. And then these were all uh, captures that we said equaled 20 points, right? So 40 plus this, 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 and this. Seems big. Seems big. Meanwhile, you can see what his corner is, right? Um, 3, 6, 9, 12. Not quite 40. Not quite 40. Not quite 40. And our corners are worth more, right? Because this is like 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's worth more than that one. Uh, this is 3, 6, 9, 12. Like what, 19? So worth more than this too. So our corners are worth more than his corner. And our middle is huge. And we've got like a little bit of... We have like half Comey on top side, right? Because it's three points instead of six. So real quick, you know... Real quick guesstimatings. We should be ahead. Even with the 15 points we just tossed in his lap. He's like, hey, I don't need these points. You can have them. There you go. Uh, they were weighing me down, man. They're all yours. They're all yours. They're all yours. We're still up. We're still up. So I'd like to review the game. I think he's counting. You can see how long it's taking because he knows where um, force moves are and aren't. I mean, at one D plus, I mean, at one down, you should know. You should have some pretty good idea of what endgame is and isn't. So, I think he's counting right now. I think he's working on his counting, which is okay. I mean, you got the time. You got the time. Might as well. Let's work on it. Yield counts.
And he counted and he realized we we're up, so he resigned. Now let's go into my game, Ricardo's. All right, so review pack stuff. So yeah, um, as, as mentioned previously, this area here and this area here are now the widest parts of the board, but... So if you want to look at it, right? So this is... We have a reason to play here because it's a wide side. Wide side, wide side, wide side. We have a reason to play here because it's the widest side. We have a reason to play here because it's the widest side, right? Now we have a reason to play here because it's the widest side and we get to extend. We can play here because it's the wide side and we can extend and we can have play here because it's uh, we can tie up our groups to our, our stones together. So this wins out. We essentially have a uh, plus one reason to approach on the bottom side than to approach on like another corner or do something else. So okay, cool. That's where we go with that one. He did this one. I did very, very simple Chiseki. I just jumped and pincered. This is a bad move. He needs to jump out now. Not later. Now. Because this is Gote, and now we could pincer. Pincering here would be huge. Because the only thing he could do now is just be like, either try to settle, which is not good because it's, it's aiding my other side, or like, try to go in out through here and just kind of run away, which again is, as, as I'm sure you can tell, it, it's not the greatest thing in the history of ever. So that was a big mistake. He jumped, I jumped, he jumped, I jumped. Now, I'm not behind enemy lines, but I just didn't want to be ever behind enemy lines and be attacked. Now, this is a shape point. This is what I'm referring to. Note I'm making shape here. Just to ensure he can't do things like keep extending out here and whatever else. Like, we're making shape. We're ensuring he can't keep, sur we can't keep jumping out. We're surrounding his group. All of that good stuff, right? Now, I mentioned shape specifically because I could be like, whatever, I'm just going to play here now. I could play here, but it lets him attack me again. Because I didn't make shape, right? So he could keep making this game really, really freaking complicated. He could be like, boom, 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 boom. Now what are you going to do? Am I going to jump out? Not so much, right? Not so much. So I made shape. I jump out. I didn't do something like this instead and like get him strength to attack me while I still have to play here to do this. Don't do this. So we played here. Now if he jumps out, it's Gote. So we get to jump out. He tried to attack. He tried to attack, and that's probably a good idea, but how do you attack a group with this much influence and space to um, move around, you know? It, it's too big. It's too big. It's too big. So we come out. We come out. Again, capitals, look at the shape. We are poking at it now. He defended his shape, so we kept coming out. He ignored us, so we followed up. At this point, he should really jump. He really, really needs to be safe here. The trouble is, my group is completely fine now. So... That means I'd probably play here. And then what? He plays this one, the elongated table -y deal dad? Then what? I just keep making points and he's not making anything? It's a problem. It's a problem. 
So we played this. He's trying to play fast, but he didn't come out with his group. Now he never will. I asked him if he can live. He said, no, I can't. So I'm like, okay, then you die. For those of you who couldn't see it, if he takes this now, that doesn't work. If he does it this way, that doesn't work. He could try this one, but you can see here it just doesn't work, right? He can do this one, this one, into this one. We just play here, and then he's dead again. So this was an absolute must for him. So he had to do this. I got to connect. This is game over. Game over. Especially when I, when I connected. Because now, if we look at the estimator, and we tag these stones dead, because they are, then... I'm not really up by 20 points. That's a little bit false because it's over-exaggerating how much territory he's going to get on top of the board and the uh, how much reduction he's going to take uh, over in here. So this is keeps a nice uh, filter on that. We could theoretically go for more. We could go for more here. But there's no reason to when we are already up. I mean, we killed everything in the middle of the board. We're good. So we just defend, took his corner. This shape is very, very amusing. If he plays um, here, same thing. He just can't get what he needs. So yeah, here you can see one of the reasons why I mentioned um, that he just can't that he can't really get uh, a, a pretty good position here with anything kind of close in terms of territory because we're currently up by like 36 points. Close to 40. That's that's painful. That's painful. So we got this. The rest of this is just end game. Just end game. End game, end game, end game. I mentioned this one earlier. If I go in now, he clamps here. Right? And then I can't really do anything. I gotta try to do this now. But this doesn't work. This isn't Seki, because there's an Atari here, and two here. So we play here, he takes, we throw in, and then I'm, I'm dead. It's, I'm just dead. But yeah, pretty straightforward game. So that's why we have to be very, very careful about this, because it was very tough for him to figure out what to do with these stones. Very, very tough. How does he deal with all of them simultaneously? You know? So I could have handled the top better. Could have handled the top better. But I guess we technically won. I'll probably have this as the last game. So hope you enjoyed today's video. With any luck, I put a game before this that was much better than this disconnected game. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.